Hello everyone, I'm Dredge and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Railgun Helldivers 2. If you check any social media, read any social media like Reddit for Helldivers 2, you may have seen more than one thread on there for players wishing for the Railgun to be reverted to how it was when Helldivers 2 launched. Uh, but what also comes with this wish are comments on why it was nerfed in the first place. And over the course of this video, we're going to look at the, the evidence, the reasons on why people think it was nerfed and maybe come to a conclusion at the end. So to start with, just a, just a, just a tease, the, the two reasons are because of charges, the terminated charger, and the ease of use of the route gun. And the other one is the PlayStation 5 bug. So I have it all laid out here. So let's move along. So I've already mentioned the charger. This was enemy number one at the launch of Helldivers 2, because probably like 90, 95% of the player base, a, a, a large amount of the player base, we're fighting Terminids because the first MO was to liberate Heath and Angel's Venture. Um, there were people that played automatons at the start. That's where the whole Malevolent Creek meme came from. But most people were playing Chargers and Chargers were a massive problem. So very early in the game, people didn't know or we're struggling with charges. And what I've got here is just a simple Google search, Hell Divers 2 Charges OP. And this is what we have. These are all links from Reddit. Charges are unrefined and need more time in the pot. Charges take too many hits. And we talk about charges. Charges are too OP and drag to, and a drag to fight. Uh, charges are trash and way too OP. Charger bugs too OP. We have just four videos coming up from a YouTube search on how to deal with charges. Charges are too OP. Easiest way to kill charges. Easiest way to kill charges. New easiest way to kill charges. This was 14th of March. So this was after the, the first nerf. So publication like websites. Game Facts, Dexterto, Found and Wise, Green Rant. For those struggling with hell, uh, charges, players demand immediate nerf to OP Terminate. It's all starting to get too much as Helldivers 2 players. Helldivers say the Charger Terminate is overpowered. How to beat charges. So the charges were a big problem. And that's where the Railgun stepped in. It became the meta weapon for dealing with charges. You could shoot the charger twice in the leg with a safe railgun shot, two safe railgun shots. And that would strip its armor. Then you would take your primary weapon, which at the time was the breaker, the breaker shotgun, and four shots puts down the charger. Um, so yes, the meta was Railgun, Breaker Shotgun, and the Personal Shield. Those were the, the three basics for the meta. So we come to March the 6th. And the Breaker had its magazine capacity reduced and the recoil increased. The recoil wasn't really such a big deal. It was... It was a close range weapon anyway, so recoil, it didn't matter. The railgun, so more relevant to the video right now, decreased armor penetration in safe mode, decreased damage against durable enemy parts. So after this nerf, what happened? How you had to play the railgun, you had to turn it to unsafe mode, and you'd have to charge it to about 90% of full power, maximum power. And then you could two shot off the charger leg. 
and then blast it away in the foot, in the leg, with whatever primary weapon you use, whatever you want. Um, it that was a bit of a problem because even bear in mind this is March. This is like a month after release, nearly a full month. Even at that point, players didn't know you could hold your reload button and get weapon options. So players didn't necessarily know how to put the railgun into unsafe mode. So they're shooting what they were shooting a day before, and their railgun shots are just pinging all over the place. Down there, up there, in the sky, atmosphere, into your teammate. So players were really not happy with the railgun nerf. So railgun nerf is on March the 6th. Also on March the 6th, we have the YouTuber Odo Plays. On the very same day, he put out a video. It was called How to One-Shot Ball Titans. I have a picture of the Ball Titan here, this guy. Um, so he had a video on how to one-shot Ball Titans, despite it took two shots. Two shots this way. Two shots. Um, and what he was finding over the course of the video is that there was a bug with PlayStation 5. If you had a PlayStation 5 play in your lobby, then other players in that lobby, maybe PC players in that lobby, would do increased damage to the Bar Titan. Um, and then on March the 10th, Odo also released the video. It was called PlayStation 5 is Destroying Balance, where he is again stating that or implying that it was the PlayStation 5 bug, which is what caused the railgun to be nerfed. And a month after that, in April, we have the YouTuber Thick Filet, who released this video, Make the Railgun, uh, the Railgun Great Again. It's on, it's on his thumb now. Make the Railgun Great Again, where he also puts across the opinion that it was the Railgun was nerfed because of the PlayStation 5 bug, not because of this chap, the Charger and not because of the Railgun meta. So that was March the 10th, March the, yeah, March the 10th. Then we had the patch notes on March the 12th, where we had in the patch notes, this sentence here, which reads, we are humbled by the community's ability to find things like the charger leg meta in our game. However, spending your heavy anti-tank weapons on legs instead of the obvious weak point seems counter to expectation. We are not changing anything regarding the charger's legs. We are, however, lowering the health of the charger's head. It should now be at a point where a well-placed shot from the recoilless rifle or the E17 instantly kills the charger. So after the railgun nerf on the 6th, players were now struggling to kill chargers. So March 12th, the chargers were nerfed. Not ball titans. So at this point, are you wondering, is it chargers? that got the Railgun nerfed, or is it Bile Titans? Because to this point, Arrowhead, the developers have not mentioned Bile Titans at all in regards to the nerf of the Railgun. And no other anti-tank weapon was nerfed because of the PS5 bug. It was only the, well, supposedly because of the PS5 nerf. It was only the Railgun. And we had a well-established meta 
called the Charger Leg Meta, which they reference in their patch notes as to why they're nerfing the railgun. And on Reddit, we have this from this developer where he refers to, he, he says, we made two of the most brainless play styles less viable and bought the guns that are underperforming or overperforming more into line with the rest, which means they brought up some of the weaker anti-tank and nerfed the rail gun because it was brainless play style. So again, nothing about Bile Titans being one shot, two shot, three shot, four shot. Nothing about Bile Titan. Until April the 16th, where we had the first acknowledgement by Arrowhead that there was any kind of damage discrepancy between PC and PlayStation 5. The patch notes it says fixed an issue that resulted in different damage being dealt between PC and console players. So this is their first acknowledgement that Bile Titans or any other enemy, it could have been other enemies as well. We only know it was the Bile Titan because of Odo's video. So April 29th, I didn't bring a slide up for this one. I say slide, it's, it's, it's a Chrome tab. Um, it's my second time re recording this video um, a few days after, and I've just forgotten that tab. My apologies. Um, but it was April 29th. No, no, April 22nd, Odo put out a video. What was it called? As I'm recording this a day later, uh, two days later, it's another tab I've forgotten. I'll, 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 I'll see if I can find a steel and put it on the screen in post-production. But I think it was something about the railgun nerf and, and, and like PlayStation ruining the balance again. Um, but then on April 29th, we had, it was the big balance patch where we had, it was something like 22 guns, something like that. It was said that all had buffs and the rail gun was one of them. Um, it just had its damage increased. I think it was its damage uh, to durable enemy body parts in safe and unsafe mode. And so that was end of April and we're now in July. So that is the last buff we had for the rail gun. So where the railgun is today, it's, it's an A-tier weapon for the automatons. Uh, it would be S-tier, but the anti-material rifle exists and it does what the railgun does, but does it better. And for the terminates, it's a do not use weapon. So don't take the railgun to a bug mission. It's, it's no good. It, it doesn't have a place there because you can take any of the other anti-tanks and one shot a charger in the head or two shot a charger bam off into the head. And as we were doing the whole time, we're still killing all Titans with 500 kilogram bombs and now the orbital precision strike. So that's Bile Titans taken care of. So there's no, there's no need for the rail gun. So that brings us to the end of the timeline so far for the rail gun. So with everything presented, do you think it was charges and the leg shot meta that the developers didn't like and called brainless? And then further nerf charges that made the railgun get nerfed? Or was it the PlayStation 5 bug, which caused Bile Titans to take increased damage from 
everything. But Railgun was kind of singled out at the time because it, because it was the metal weapon. Everyone was using it. So let me know in the comments. Chargers and the leg shot meta or Bile Titan PS5 bug. So with that, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.